Well, of all varietals, Pinot Grigio seem to be the hardest to find really good values. And I think it has to do with the fact that a lot of them come from a wide area in Italy. And sometimes those Italians, they just... <laughs> <laughs> they, they hold back a little. They don't deliver the good stuff. Yeah, you know, the Pinot Grigio is often um, under delivers. <laughs> uh, really we've does. tried hundreds of them, and we've been woefully disappointed mm. in so many. Now, we've got one here. Finally! That, that for $6, <laughs> yes. okay, 6 bucks. That we really think tastes like a, a, a you know a little a bit little more bit now. better. Yeah. It's it's like okay we've got a six dollar average retail. Sometimes you can get this down as four and five dollar level, but it's got a value price point of around we we're gonna go nine bucks on this. So so yeah. a solid higher value from its six dollar average retail. However. What you have to understand about Pinot Grigio's is we tasted we tasted one that has an average retail of twenty nine bucks that was n was undrinkable compared to this. Yeah. I mean we've come through dozens and dozens and dozens of Pinot Grigio's before we were able to find one that we just felt over delivered. Yeah, so we, that's exactly this one. We feel like it's exceptional let's value. Let's go we, back. It, it's yeah. Let's do it again, and uh, we'll talk about how much we think it's worth in a second. So we got we got really nice yeah. kind of flowers, floral element on the nose. Mm -hmm. Little green apple in there. Um, pleasant. Yeah. This is a pleasant wine. If you're a fan of kind of a dry white wine style, there's a little, just a hint of dryness in here, some lemon, mm -hmm. some nice floral elements, and some green apple. Yeah. It's not a complex wine, and, it's just clean. And a hint of minerality on the finish that's not too offensive. That's but it's, right. But you know, it's definitely, it, right. it's just a good value for six bucks. I think it's more like, you know, nine or ten dollar wine. I agree, and, and that's what we're going. We're going nine dollars. This is a, the mineral aspects of this, the finish is what makes it interesting. It's not mineral in a bad way. It just has a nice mineral kind of dry finish. It's a very clean, sort of refreshing summer wine. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive, but definitely a $9 wine from a value standpoint that you can find for five or six bucks. Yeah. Two thumbs up to Bella Sara. Cheers. 2009, don't forget, Pinot Grigio. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. I like that.